This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. The Afraid Alliance Club hosts its annual Youth Fishing Derby Saturday morning at Oasis Park. A 10-story building in Portland, Oregon was evacuated on Tuesday over fears it could collapse. A father says his son was denied a transplant due to marijuana use. From the iFiber One newsroom, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. The Afraid Alliance Club hosts its annual Youth Fishing Derby Saturday morning at Oasis Park. The event is free and runs from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. at the Park Pond off State Route 28. The Derby is open to kids age 14 and younger, but children must be able to handle their own fishing poles. According to organizers, parents can help with casting, but kids should be able to reel in their catch. Derby prizes are handed out at 8.15 a.m. and catches need to be brought to the judging area by 8 a.m. for measurement. The Lions Club is also selling donuts, coffee, and hot chocolate during the event. The Lions Club annual fishing derby was started in 1972 and has attracted hundreds of kids each year. For more information on the derby, call 509-750-4196. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. A 10-story building in Portland, Oregon was evacuated on Tuesday over fears it could collapse. A large crack in the side of the building was discovered Tuesday morning in downtown Portland. Emergency crews rushed to the 5th Avenue building when witnesses say debris started falling. Officials say within 10 minutes, everyone in the building was evacuated. The building was built in 1951, and it's not clear how long that crack had been there. Among the businesses evacuated was a daycare on the building's first floor. Structural engineers are evaluating the situation and the fire department said it's possible the damage may be to the siding and not to the structure itself. Crews plan to put up scaffolding around the siding where the crack was discovered. He was an avid skier, river runner, biker, enjoying life to its fullest. Bad enough that his once healthy son needed a double lung transplant to live. His lungs collapsed and that fast and they still have no idea what happened. When he was told his son could not be on the transplant list, Mark Hansey, I couldn't believe it. The reason? Riley did smoke a marijuana on Thanksgiving night with his friends. And tested positive for THC. Is that really a reason to disqualify him? The doctor told Riley, You will die. You better get your affairs in order. And his reaction to this? Oh, he started crying. His father tells me Riley had been drug-free for a year. Riley was not a big pot smoker. He did smoke pot. He's a 19-year-old ski guy. The University of Utah cannot talk specifically about Riley's case, but the hospital follows international guidelines for transplants and evaluates cases individually. In a statement, we do not transplant organs in patients with active alcohol, tobacco, or illicit drug use or dependencies until these issues are addressed as these substances are contraindicated for a transplant. Age and other medical conditions may also exclude patients from the list. It's not like he's a, a smoker for 30 years and, and, and deteriorated his lungs because of that. Mark Hansey scoured the country for a hospital willing to do the transplant. Two months ago, the University of Pennsylvania Hospital agreed. Riley was flown to Philadelphia on medical transport. I looked at Riley and I went, oh my gosh, this poor, this poor soul looks like death. Twelve days ago, doctors gave Riley two donor lungs. He looks so healthy. It made all the difference. And he still looks healthy, but he's still fighting and doing well. From the iFiber One Weather Center, I'm Jeff Slakey taking a look at the Basin's forecast. For your Monday, upper 50s and partly cloudy. Partly cloudy for Tuesday, upper 50s, and a chance of rain as we move into Wednesday, where we'll be in the mid-50s and expect about a quarter inch of rain. Thursday through the rest of the week into the weekend, upper to mid-50s and clear skies. For iFiber One, I'm Jeff Slakey. This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at iFiberOne.com or check us out on Facebook.